We're here with Brittany Blass, the Albert Award winner. How does it feel to win such a prestigious award like this? It's very humbling. I mean, there are so many talented female student athletes sitting in that room, and to just be honored as a top athlete really is something that I can't believe. But um, yeah, it's really special because I know that so many of our classmates have accomplished so many great things, so I feel very humbled by it. And what would be words of advice that you'd give someone aspiring to win an award like this? Um, to really just take advantage of everything that Lafayette has to offer in general. I mean, these four years flew by, and they each year went quicker. So really just to enjoy your time and take advantage of everything you can while you're here. Well, thank you, and congratulations. Thank you. I'm with Emily Homan, winner of the Class of 1913 trophy. And a quick question, Emma. How does it feel to have uh, won this trophy? Uh, it's a great honor. As an athlete at Lafayette, it's very hard to be a student and an athlete. Um, so I'm very happy. And on how do you, what do you believe is your biggest accomplishment off the court? Um, being uh, academic all team both years academically and, um, you know, just doing the best I could in, in my classes. And um, I'm really proud of that. Awesome. Thank you very much, Emily Holman. Thank you. We're here with Corey Spera, who won the 1913 trophy. So how does it feel to win such a prestige award and be recognized for both your athletics and academics? Awesome. Um, very cool. I think what makes it special is um, the other guys who are nominated. Um, you know, I know Seth and Julian uh, well, good friends of mine, um, Brandon as well, and then uh, Brian, who was also nominated. I didn't know him as well, but when they were saying his accomplishments uh, over the loudspeaker, that's pretty darn impressive. So to be recognized, obviously, um, out of all of the, of the, you know, male senior graduating student athletes, but especially amongst those other four guys, that's, uh, you know, it's pretty cool that the uh, coaching staff um, thought that I was the, uh, you know, the, the right one for the award. And how do you juggle both academics and athletics? Honestly, I think that my academics would have suffered without athletics. Um, athletics was what was fun for me. You know, so I, as, you know, maybe as crazy as it sounds, I really enjoyed going to practice every day. I enjoyed going to the workouts, to the lifts. Um, that was all really fun. So I think that kind, you know, it kind of kept me going. Um, when when school got tough, I always knew that uh, though it was going to take out some homework time. I had I had four hours at Metzger where I got to do what I loved and uh, and not worry about you know biology or organic chemistry <laughs> or something. You know. Well, thanks and congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Amanda.